Hey everybody, this is Collector Dude. I'm back with part three of the uh, Marvel Comics Bronze Age, Copper Age, and Modern Age comic books. So this will be part three. Uh, I'm going to try to do as many as I can. Hopefully you enjoy these. Uh, it's cool It's just to get to see these books and see what's out there. A lot of these I got at half-price books at great prices. Some of them I went to my comic book stores, some of my local comic book stores, and got some stuff from them too. But mostly it's half-price books. But uh, if you look at these and you see some books and go, wow, I didn't know that existed. Um, hopefully this will help you. I've been, I've been watching other channels all day today and everything. And uh, hopefully... Um, just from looking at them, I've been enjoying what I've been seeing. And Longbox Love Affair, I, I love his channel. Uh, he's a, he's got a lot of great books. He's got a, a lot of subscribers, and the slabs and the different books that he finds are really good. Like I said, there's so many other ones that I watch as well. I just wanted to give him a shout out for that for now, and I'll do more as I go along and everything. But hopefully, you guys enjoy this, uh, just to see what I picked up at half price books and everything, and. Well, let's get started on into this one. But this one here, I got 48 page spectacular. It's not in great condition. Mission Impossible number one. It isn't the variant where it was recalled or anything, but I flipped through it to check it, but I just grabbed it because I thought it was cool. I think I got it for a dollar. And then this one's Battlestar Galactic. I got two issues of this one. I found these like in a, just all together. Like I got almost got a whole run of this book. This is the first collector's item issue. Really cool. One of the rare books that is kind of like when it says collector's item on it, that it's worth something. <laughs> but these are really cool. And this one's Annihilation. And here's number two, Battlestar Galactica. You see, this one, like I said, it's here. It's based on the first episode of, of the television series Battlestar Galactica, written and created by Glenn Larson. Exodus. Cool. And I got more over here. Here's three. And here's seven. So I jumped a little bit. I got to get four and five and six. And here's eight. These are really cool. I love this show as a kid. The Cylons. The gold one was cool. I like to get action figures of them and everything. But that's number uh, three, Death Trap. Here's number seven. Action. No, that blast destroyed the memory machine's controls. Commander Adama is trapped inside forever. Wow. Here's number eight. Last stand. Cool. Get some more over here. Here's number 10, 11, and 12. So, let's see what this... The Planet Hungers. Wow. Cool. Let me this one. Battlestar Galactica number 11. Well, boys, look like I win. Wrong, Starbuck. You lose. <laughs> uh. Battlestar Galactica number 12. Memories end. Let's see if it says anything about that. Yeah. Cool. I like the covers on these. Just love the action and everything. Just the, the, uh, the way they uh, lay out the pages and everything. Lay out the artwork. Stuff. Here's number 13. Number 14. And number 15. So, go over here to 13. The big, huge Cylon ship there. Ooh, the Galactica. Firing upon them. Now we got here, number seven, I mean 14, I mean. Cool. This one is no use looking for that runaway kid in here. He's got more sense than to come anywhere near that deadly radiation. Uh-oh. Here's Battle Go Battlestar Galactica number 15. Ship of Crawling Death. Nice. Here's 16, 17, and 18. 
the Cylon Mark III. There is no comparison. Then we got number 17. The escaped animal is heading toward Launch Bay Alpha, but there is no cause for alarm. Okay, now, is it because that Starbuck or something? Don't shoot! Or Apollo. Hmm. It's like an early version of the Red Hulk. See, this was number 18. Wow, it looks vicious. Battle for the Forbidden Fruit. Wow, man. Okay, then we got 19, 20, and 21. See how cool these covers are? This comic could be worth $2,500 to you. Details inside. Like Simon sent it to cover on this one. Not that you missed him, but Starbucks back. This one you can win a Toy R's Toys R Us shopping spree. Grand prize, minimum value, $3,000. Details inside. Cool. This is Starbuck, Galactic Warrior. This is Aurel, Empress of Scavenge World. In the vacuum of space, they must deal duel to the death. Well, he's got a hammer and she's got what? She's got a claw hammer, too. Okay, now we got number 21 here. Apollo's most desperate adventure. To slay a monster. To destroy a world. Wow. These last couple of books that I have, I think this is near the ending. It was 22 and 23. Like I said, I got a few to get to get the complete collection if I want to complete it. Battlestar Galactica. Can this be a love story? Simon's in cover. That's cool. Battlestar Galactica. Last issue. A collector's item. More Simon's in art. Bring on the pirates. Cool. I got a bunch of other stuff. See, I got Inhumans, number tw three, Sectors, Warriors of Symbion, number one, and Animax, number one. Okay. You see, these all came out between 1970 and 19, uh, or 2000. That's why I'm trying to keep the years in here. There's some Jay Lee artwork on there. His sector is Warriors of Symbion. Fantasy Field Premier Issue. Cool. They got toys and everything too. Animax number one from Star Comics. Star, the new world in the Marvel Universe. I got a few uh, Weapon X's. Number 78. Number 79, and I got two copies of 80. So I get the multiple copies, I'm going to try to sell or use them as giveaways. Everything, because I don't want to keep multiples. Just they, they take up a lot of space. Marvel Comics presents Weapon X. Barry Windsor Smith, beautiful artwork and colors. Here's number 79. And here's number 80. And I found this one here. Wolverines, number 13. And here's Wolverine Reign of Terra. And here's an Essential X-Men book. Free, number 17. It's got pounds on there, too. 5th of February, 1997. Collector's Edition. This is uh, Deadpool on the front. It's a Wolverine book with Deadpool. Wild. Reign of Terror. And we got Essential X-Men. I think it's just collected versions in this book here. I wasn't going to pick it up. I thought it was cool, though, when I saw the pound sign. I said, oh, cool. Wolverine. 
another Wolverine. And then we got Punisher Nightmare. This is one book I'd like to go through and read through. The number one issues of what I've been trying to go do read throughs for. I did, I did a read through of Sabretooth and like review Night of Terra. More Terra stuff. You want to check those out? I got. I think I have to do number four, Sabretooth, the miniseries when it came out. The hundredth issue, anniversary event. You can see the glow on there, or the hologram. And you see me filming, Punisher Nightmare. It is happening again. A five issue weekly event from a writer producer of TV's The Walking Dead one of five limited series then we got this one Punisher Space Punisher then we got Punisher Red Christmas and we got Punisher Giant Sized this one I did a flip through this I like to do it again because I don't think I did any reading for it I want to do it again though nice artwork by Texier nice cover this one's Punisher Red Christmas. You'll flip through this one as well. Dressed up as Santa Claus. That hat looks way too small. Let's see. The Punisher. Giant sized. Number 100. Wow. Mind blowing 100th issue. You see the reflection there? The. The shiny part. Is he shooting himself or something? Then we got Punisher again. More Punisher. And some more Punisher. So this one's the Punisher Suicide Run. Number 86. Punisher 86. I like them because they were glossy covers. This one's the Punisher A Man Named Frank. Cool cover. Rootin' Tootin'. Like your Shimity Sam there, without the beard. The Punisher, Suicide Run, War Zone. Suicide Run, it's like a continuation of it, number 23 of War Zone. Wow, he's busting out the window. It's kind of like an image from the Watchmen. We got Punisher War Journal, Suicide Run. I think they broke it up into all the different books. Now I got my run of uh, Human Fly here as well. This is the Punisher War Journal, number 61, Suicide Run. Shooting, shooting, shooting. Now we're on to uh, the human fly, the wildest superhero ever, because he's real. Number three. Alone against the mechanized monsters of a madman. The fly becomes a one-man assault force to storm the fortress of fear. Wow, cool. This is number four. Crossfire. Trapped between two forces, the fly battles to save an innocent hostage. Okay, now we got number four. I, oops, wait a minute. I forgot I had to. So I have to, I'm going to have to put my doubles somewhere so I can try to give some away. Six. Here's two of six. Here's number... I got two of this one too, two of seven. And here's number one, one of eight for that one. So I got two copies of that one. Fear in Funland. And over here, a rocket sled stunt becomes a battle for survival. Wow. Fury in the wild. And we have number eight. A charity stunt flings the fly into conflict against the incredible Copperhead. Mayhem at the Metropolitan. Special guest, the White Tiger. Cool. Now we got number 10. Number 14, it jumps. And the last one I have here is number 15. So, let's get a close-up on this one. Number 10. It's dark as a dungeon down to the mine. 
Wow. Cool cover. I like how they colored. They didn't make it bright either. They made it darker because he's underwater. So if he's deeper in the water, it'll be darker in there. Let me see the human fly here. This is number 14. Uh oh. Fear over Fifth Avenue. Cool. This is number 15. Elevator shaft. War in the Washington Monument. Wow. Let me stop it here for a second. Okay. Now we're on to Conan. This is number 73. Conan the Barbarian. Always fought some real awesome creatures. Mighty sword versus monstrous sorcery. He waits below in the wells of Skelos. Now we got number 77. Behind that door lurks death 10 feet tall. <laughs> wow. Over here we got a dragon-like creature. It's like a snail and a bear and a lizard and a bat or dragon. He's got a hole in his wing too. Nothing to say on the cover of that one. Wow. Battle for his life against green bear, dragon, snail, bat creature. <sighs> Something like that. We got number 167. That's a big jump. 168. And 169. Okay, let's see here what we got on this one. Nice cover. I like the detail in the rings here. Just a second. Alrighty. There's a few more I'll show. About, about 20 minutes, I think. Something like that. Not to make them too long, but hopefully enjoy just seeing all the different covers. I try to put them together now instead of them jumping all around. Here's Conan the Barbarian number 168. He's choking somebody. The white furry creature. Man. Now we got 169. With a red and yellow shield. I smite thee. And the axe isn't uh, Swiss cheese either. Okay, battle axe. Here's number 183. Number 219, Jim Lee cover. Then we got Red Sonja, number one. Okay, 183. Marble 25th anniversary, it says. Somebody's cr trying to crush him. Vampire-type creatures. Crushing me. How will I get out of this one? Give me a second. I'll get it. By Krom. Conan, the Barbarian, number 219. I, when I saw this, I said, hey, that looks like Jim Lee. When I saw the name on him, I'm like, hey, and I looked it up, Jim Lee cover. Thought that was cool. Busting out. Now we got She-Devil with a sword. Red Sonya, number one. Skeleton behind her while well, she's trying to get she's trying to put look she I think she sees look like she see the reflection She's not being fooled She knows he's back there. She's getting her sword ready. She's about ready to chop him in half Here we go with red Sonya number two Then we got another number two. This is from a different series and Here's number three so we got She-Devil with a Sword, Red Sonja, number two. Wow, she, she cut him. 
Ouch. Red Sonja with She Devil with a sword. Number two. Fighting in the Flames. And we have number three from the same series here. Back. Back, you animals. Wait in line. Wait your turn. Okay, and I realized I got two of that one. So I have to be using, maybe use it for a, a barbarian giveaway. I'll find something cool to do. And there's Red Sonja number four. Then on to Onslaught Reborn. One variant cover and number two, Rob Liefeld. First one, Michael Turner. This is number four. Those, those, I'll finish up with the onslaughts and then I'll be done with this video here. These are all cool. Wow. My girlfriend loves Red Sonja, so I picked these up. Onslaught Reborn, Jeff Loeb and Rob Liefeld. Variant version. Variant edition. Michael Turner. This is number two. Rob Liefeld did the cover on this one. Now we have number two, and I forget the artwork. Mad Maguire did that one, yeah. And here's this one here, number three. So this is um, a variant uh, edition of that one, Ed McGinnis. See, we got this one here. Joe Maguire is doing a cover for this one variant for number two. Very cool. Then we got Rob is doing. The main cover for number three here, Onslaught Reborn, Back in Black. Look at that. 2 2007. I gotta make sure, I think, I'm not sure if these are too old or not. I might have to check and let me check real quick and, and just rub me right back. You had to take those out of there. Those Onslaughts weren't in there. Those were 2006, 2007, something like that. I'm like, ah! Oh. I thought they were um, in there, but um, I just missed the dates. So um, we'll jump onto this. I mean, I'll show those later. So this is uh, number two in a four issue limited series, Black Panther. Enter the Supremus. Here's Black Panther number three from another series. You're fighting. This is Mark Texier artwork. But they're fighting a the Fantastic Four, or he's fighting a Fantastic Four. Or they're fighting him. Here's number 13. Call of the Cat King. Let me show a few more. Here's number 15. Hulk Smash. What about trying Tai Chi instead? <laughs> and here is number 16, an unbeatable foe, back from the grave. Wow. And here's number 35, Silver Surfer and Doctor Strange. Wow, all of them. Namor, Hellcat, Valkyrie. I forgot that guy's name. Let's see the Hulk there. Guerrilla Warfare, part two of two. Here's my last uh, Black Panther that I have here. Number 45. Enemy of the State 2, part five of five. All right. Okay, I'll stop it here. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Sorry about the, getting the uh, onslaughts in there and getting them confused. But since I have them in there... I will try not to do that anymore. I'll try to make sure I check. But here, this is number four or five in there. And I showed all of these, but he did a cover for number four or five. That was the last one I was going to show. But I'll set these aside, and like I said, they'll, those will go in for something else since they were 2006 and stuff. But let me know what you think. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, I'm going to get ready, um, get this all done and post it so you can see it soon. But thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think. Um, if you have any of these comic books, let me know which ones you think are cool. Like I said, most of these are going to be for sale pretty soon. Once I get my site and everything done, I'll be putting them up on um, eBay and stuff like that. And they got to get pictures and stuff. And 
Hopefully get them up there, and I'll let you know as soon as I get that launched. But you guys have a great day, and Collect the Dude is out.